In this video demonstration, we're going to take a look at configuring security groups using the Horizon dashboard in OpenStack. We can use security groups to control access to the various instances running in our OpenStack environment. A security group is a set of IP filter rules that are applied to an instance's networking. They're specific to particular projects, and project members can edit the default rules for their group as well as add new sets of rules. Every project has a default security group, which is applied to instances that have no other security group defined. Important to note that unless you change this default group, all incoming traffic to VMs is denied. So we're logged into our OpenStack dashboard as an administrator. And if we go here to the project tab, and then we go down to access and security, we can see that this is the default security group and it's the only one that's been currently defined. Now you'll see that in the in this particular environment, which was set up following the OpenStack rules, uh, the OpenStack Juno setup guide, we'll see that there are some rules that are here that are allowed and not allowed. And you can see uh, how they're displayed. Now, rather than modify the default group, we're gonna create a new group. So let's say that we wanted to have a new group and we're gonna create a security group and we're gonna call it allow RDP for argument's sake. which happens to use port 3389. We can create the security group. Oh, name can't have a space in it. And then we can say, all right, we want to manage the rules here. Click on manage the rule. You'll see that the default is to allow traffic out. And we want to add a rule. I have a custom TCP rule for things coming in. We're going to open port 338, uh, th unlock, uh, 3389 to all remote hosts. And now we can simply access, or when we create an instance, we can say apply this security group to it, which will be allowed to send all the traffic it has going out and accept traffic inbound on 3389, usually used for RDP or terminal services. And that's how you manage the security groups from within the Horizon dashboard.